Right, here we go. One of my favourite parts of Football Manager. Every time we move club, we like to explore the local, explore the stadium and the local surroundings a little bit and the country because, you know, my geography is terrible. Welcome to Planet Earth. I know that much. We are going to check out Tamela Stadion. You know, because I'm fluent in Finnish. Let's go. It's not just a cloud, I promise. We're going to have a look. I haven't zoomed, I haven't looked in at all. I just Googled it. Straight into maps. Okay, here's Finland. You can tell by the words there. Lot of water. Lot, lot of water around there. Okay, I believe it's the third biggest city in Finland. Correct me if I'm wrong. There's Helsinki down there. So we're not too far off. You know, there's a main... There's a, Okay, are we in water? Wow, that's... Okay. Oh, we're, we're right in the city centre, it looks like. That's, there's a whole lot of water going on. Okay, oh, there, I can see green. That's always a good sign. You can't guarantee that our football pitch will actually be green. Okay, we've been to places where it's basically dirt. Wow, it is literally right in the middle of everything, isn't it? Okay. It's a different, it looks quite deep. Is that a stand? That's that, okay, that could be quite interesting. But, okay, it's a bit patchy. There's some great, but it's not too bad. We'll take it. Where's the entrance, do you reckon? It's got to be around the big stadium bit. Is that a car park? That could be the entrance. Let's go have a look. Right, welcome. Playground. Sorted. <gasps> Beautiful. Okay, is there an entrance? So that's the big stand. Oh, I can see the gloriousness. You could get a chair and just watch all the games for free. That's an absolute... I have to fix that. I don't want any... Is that the... Just just come on in, people. Okay. Is that the main entrance? I don't know what that is. Six percent, boys. <laughs> Hang on, I want to know what that number is. I don't know why. Can we see it from here? Oh, Google, look. There's no way. Is it not? Sixteen percent, boys, we'll go for. And a tiny little stand. Let's have a wander around. It's a lovely area, to be fair. We we've, we've fallen on our feet. This is ridiculous. Okay, um, just as accommodation goes, the uh, owner has let me stay, cry, has let me, oh my god, that's a ghostly apparition, has let me stay in the office for the first week, but I have to find a place for to live, so in the next couple of episodes, I'm going to go house hunting. Can you not go around the stadium then, is that not a, oh yeah, it's a little pedestrian -y bit. Okay, nice. I like the fact it's right in the middle of the city. The heart, the beating heart of the city. It's not bad at all. You know, I've seen more modern stands, but it's a stand. So that's a benefit. That's like a bonus. It's got lights and everything. Car parky bits. Um, what's that an advert for? Something. I don't see any little restaurants or anything nearby. This is the other side. It's not too bad. It's a beautiful day in whatever this, 2011. Might have changed a little bit since then. We've got the Solarium Studio. T is that tanning? Ta fake tan bollocks? Okay. Well, there it is. Not a bad little place. That main stand is decent. Or is it 5,000? I don't know. Is that, a sound? is that like a hockey? Blit, playground. I'm not allowed near them. Um, so we'll have to organise something there. Nice area, though. What's this? Ah, it's the Saurus Boostin Kenta. Love that. Uh, which, uh, Sorry, if you don't know Finnish, that means um, dirt football is translated to. We've got a lake. If that's fishable, I am all over it. That's got to be fishable, isn't it? That's got to be fish. Oh, it's got a fountain. It's never a good sign. But it's got a lily pads, so it's got to have fish in it. That's a what is... What is that? No, oh, that's demonetization. Uh, right, let's move away, move away. Look at something else. Right, not a bad little area. We've fallen on our feet. That's about the only good news. I've started building a tactic in a team. It's not good. We've only got one centre back. I didn't notice that's fit. Okay, let's get into it. <music> Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back 
to the journeyman. Welcome back to... It's a lynx. The animals are lynx. Okay, I saw the, the six million comments. I get it. It's a lynx. Clearly. I should have known that from looking at it. It's a lynx designed by a six-year-old. We got really some quite bad news. Um, the players hate us. Uh, most of them, all, all of the important ones hate me, apart from Saxella. Yes, mate. Yes, mate. Um, which is not ideal. Um, and then I sort of started building a tactic. And I'll take you through my general like thought process of, of tactics. I, I never play too deep in tactics. You could go as deep as you want into tactics, so she said. But I generally like to look at the best players in the squad and try and make a tactic that works around them. Also, the well, first thing I do is look at the physical ness of our team to see if we can play a pressing system or it's just going to kill us all and we can i've not gone full press because i think we'd all die but we we have to do the high press just to sort of keep warm we're in finland after all um so tendang who's 27 he's 52 and he's clearly 52 um <laughs> is one of our key men. He's an inverted winger, so we're going to we're gonna use him on that side. We've got a couple of really good, solid, all-round central midfielders and two attacking fullbacks. We've got David Addy, who's actually really solid, not the best defensively, so we're going to bomb him on, obviously ahead of Tendang on the right. He's going to cut inside. He's going to fly up the wings. And on the right-hand side, I was really excited because we've got Jan... Saxella, the guy we talked about, who's another good attacking fullback or right midfielder, but he's injured for 10 months. Just 10 months, people. I'm, I'm, I might not ever see him play a game of football. Um, we never know how long we're going to be here. We've actually got a few injuries. So I built the team, and as I was building it, I'm like, we've not got enough players. So um, we have one centre back, Baba Mensa, uh, that's fit. We've got Aspergeren. Uh, who is not a... He's got a five jumping reach. <laughs> Back up fullback. Um, this, I don't know what formation they were playing before I got here, but I don't think it was anything with more than one centre-back, which is slightly confusing. So we've... Uh, Mikhail Alman. <laughs> we've... <laughs> it's not good, is it? 19-year-old. Uh, he's our third choice now. Um, well, he's officially our second choice. He's He's... In the first team currently, but there is a, a silver lining. It is the 2nd of August. And you know what that means, my Finnish friends. Transfer window's open. But <laughs> it's not open for long. This is like a perfect time. It's such low-key timing. The transfer window is open until the 9th of August. We have one week and we have £8,000 and 500 quid in wages to... By a first choice centre back and a first choice right back. Good, um, and Yusuf Musa has come through the from the uh, reserve team as well because we don't have any backup central midfielders. So there needs I can see why they're in a relegation battle, but the lack of centre backs is probably the main issue. So we have a game. This is one of the things I love because normally you play football manager, you start a new team, and you know you've got however long, two, three months of spending money, making transfers, building tactics, sorting out your team before you get going. We've been dumped in this position. Seven days left. We've got six games to save our season. But, <clears throat> see, ninth is 20 points, which is a lot. But, and Rops have played a game less, but we can battle for it. We're going to battle for it. So we've got a game in a couple of days, I think, fourth. Yeah, two days we've got a game. So... The first game, we're going to have to kind of play with what we've got, which means oh, Alman, David Alman, has got um, got to play. But then we've got a few days to start making transfers. So this is the very sort of basic tactic. Um, we've got a deep line playmaker in our Brazilian. He's like a young Fabinho. Yeah, he is younger. Good. Um, he's a solid all-rounder, so he can play that defensive role, and he's okay at passing. Nobody's fantastic. Um, we've got Tendang, we've got Addy's bombing on, um, we don't have a right back, we're playing Matala as the right winger, because he can't, he's a, he's a supposed, supposedly a striker that can't finish, so much more of a winger option, but I think he can bomb on, maybe get himself a couple of goals. Another option, another problem, is we don't actually have any good strikers, like at all, and I can't work out 
I think this guy was he seems he played 13 games but it mm, it's not great um and then we've got the loney guy who's yep um nobody's really scoring we've got Haman who can't finish has no first touch so what I'm going for unless I can find a loney that we can bring in is Tomoko Fafana, you all know him, you all love him, uh, the 19-year-old Ivory Coast, you know, you got it, you know. Um, I'm going to play him, because actually, he's got some weak areas of his game, right? Five composure, <laughs> like deer in a headlights type player, right? He's going he's gonna to absolutely piss himself if he gets into a one-on-one. -on -one. But if he can compose himself, he's banging him in. Good first touch, really good dribbling. I'm going to give him a chance. He's five-star potential. This guy could make it. He's got a great record. One, he's a one in twelve man, which is which is fantastic. That's actually not any worse than nobody scored goals. So I've got two days until the game. I'm going to start making transfers, um, but we they won't get done in time. We need a centre back first choice, a cent uh, a right back first choice, and a first choice striker with eight grand and no wages. Oh, and also our our best our fifty seven year old. Uh, Tendeng wants a new contract. So let's do that first. Oh, Jesus. Look at what he wants. No. Is he? No. No. <laughs> uh, do I promise that? Can I say defenders? Because I'm definitely going to get a defender. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a striker. Top half in 20... 21. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not giving you... I can't afford to give you a big pay rise, mate. You're already on some absurd amount of money. Um, £625 a week. Mind you, Addy's on £1,100. Like, don't tell him. Don't tell him. Right, I will see you for game day with some maybe transfer news. Oh, we are so not ready for this game. We are so not ready. <laughs> okay, so I've just had a team talk, introduced myself to the team. I said, I'm confident that we're going to stay up. And they said, do you really think so, boss? And I said, yeah, I'm really confident. And they said, nah, it's not going to happen. So that's a good start. Good morale, boys. Mm. Good. Glad we had that chat in a different... Uh, is that okay? Good. Now? Is that good now? Do they love me? Love me. Damn it. Love me. Huh? Huh? I don't think anything changed. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so, <laughs> um, I've I've made some inquiries for a couple of loanies. The market, what's the word for it? Is it's a small market. Like for instance, if you choose striker and just say who's available for loan, you have a choice of sixteen. So might and I've got. a Top quality name, though, might be coming in. So we won't worry about transfers until it actually happens. Okay. So, okay. Uh, do I have to? Okay, okay. Come on, come on. I'll do my best finish. Uh, uh, this great club. Too small to bring in the high quality players. Well, yeah, you're right. I'm not, you know, Mbappe's not coming. Um, yeah, I'm not discussing finances. You don't have much of a reputation to speak of. Many people have expressed surprise that you've taken over. Me too. Me. Hashtag me too. No, he's hanging on. Is that the wrong hashtag? <laughs> uh, I'm entirely appropriate. You've had a little time to prepare. No, yeah, you're right. No, you're right. Um, will that impact upon your performance? But my players aren't. They know how to play and will save the bigger changes for another time. Ah, that's just a lie. Um, yeah, go on then. A professional bunch of players. Um, I have approached a scout and a uh, physio, but like that's that's we can worry about that another day. Um, yep, yep, yep. Okay. He failed in some of the most fundamental areas. I won't. I'm like a lynx. Um, 
Get stuck in, and I firmly believe in myself. Okay, we're playing SJK, who are six in the table. Okay, this will be a good test. It's away from home, so we won't get the Ilves Ultras. The Lynx Ultras. The Lynx Africas. Oh, maybe that's why they sign so many African players. They can do the Lynx. They're probably sponsored by Lynx Africa. Of course. Oh, oh. Dan Guard. You'll get to see these majestic beasts once we've signed them after. So we'll go, we'll play the game and then we'll go to the end of the transfer window and I'll give you an update. There's the dreaded red blob coming to get us. Okay, scouting. Don't worry about that, mate. Okay. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this. I'm so looking forward to this. It's going to be a shit show, an absolute shit show. <laughs> okay. Okay, we've won one, lost one. Okay, so sadly, Mikhail Alman is going to play and Tariq Kazi, who's a five-star potential right back. He can't, he has no technical ability apart from throwing. Oh, King, you're in the wrong sport, buddy. But he could be good. <laughs> but I wouldn't... Ideally, chuck him straight in, and I'll just chuck these on the bench. You know how bad it is when I've actually got a goalkeeper on the bench? You know how slim the squad is? And that's after I've raided the reserves, the under-20s, and the second team. Oh, At least he's left-footed, so, it you know, apparently these guys fairly poorly when paired and are not a good partnership in their selective roles. Excellent news! I don't even have an advanced playmaker. I've got a deep line playmaker, though, so that makes me feel better. I can't not play with a playmaker. Okay, are we ready, people, for the glory that is? Do we go balanced? Do... Oh, let's go balanced. Let's start balanced, see how bad and or good it is. It's very much hard to tell because you look at the players and go, okay, he's all right, he's rubbish, he's all right. But without then going through all the other squads and seeing what where you are, you kind of don't really know until you just go for it. <clears throat> Encourage the players. Right, let's get some Jesus juice. Come on, the green. Come on, Daddy needs some green. There it is. I'll take it. I can't speak the language, so I'm happy with four. I was using my pointing and stuff. Oh, I like the brick wall dugouts. Looks slightly out of place, but I like it. Okay, no, we need to pause. Because we don't want extended highlights. It's not like I actually pay attention to anything. <laughs> Um, between her one up, I always like the one up. Turn off all this advice bollocks. <laughs> oh, what, who needs advice? Why would that be useful? Okay, at a time we want touchline sounds. Yeah, 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 we want key highlights, director cam. Let's go for. Let's try some behind goal action. We'll turn the sounds on. <laughs> Just joking. Who would do that? Looking at you, grey hair gaming. All right. Info. Hide picture. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go, boys. We're in the Norwich colours. Look at that pressing. Already working wonders. I don't know who to rely on. This is. It's a big. I've. I had a brief look at strikers, and I think I've asked for one. I'm looking at one maybe, but to be honest, slim pickings. So, if for Fana. Can hit the ground running. He might be the main striker for the rest of the season. Here we go. First official highlight. Six minutes in. Mensa. Terrible pass. But we're crowding him out. Cadlo. Cadio. Easy, easy. Oh, no, it's Alman. Safety first. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Safety first. Why am I not in the middle of the best cam? Hang on. Boop. Boop. Jair, the Brazilian, for Fana. He's done really well. Look at him go. Oh, the goalkeeper didn't even move. He was rooted to the spot. <laughs> Could have been that it was 10 yards wide, but it looked pretty close. Deal with it, deal with it. Oh, is that a save? No. I thought it was a really good save. Come on, boys. Addy. Addy's a good left back. Jair's a good centre mid. So we're covered there. Like our central midfield, 
Uh, Sarah is the woman. Um, I'm actually just nicknamed her Mrs. Sarah, so we know. So all inclusive, and she's captain now as well. Oh, <laughs> is it? Was he the one with no composure? Yeah, I can. I can. Yeah, yeah. I can see that in the match engine there, buddy. But he's having chances. I like it. Okay, I'm going to shout something in a foreign language. Come on, boys. What we need is Liverpool as a parent club and we can get Ryan Brewster in. All right. We're not being... Oh, I was about to say, we're not being totally outclassed. Which is... I'll take that as a first option. Oh, oh. That's just quite bad, isn't it? Almost offended it. I need to. I haven't done my set pieces. As soon as I saw the two people on the line, I'm like, oh no! I always forget set pieces. I don't know why it's always a surprise to me that there's set pieces in the game. All right. It's only 1 0, but we've had a couple of optimistic chances from the youngster. Other than the shooting part, which is, you know, arguably quite important for a striker, I admit. He's looked pretty decent. He's held the ball up. He beat a player. Oh, that's... That's... That's all right. We've got a man over. That's it. Just block it. Well, you know, it's up to you. If you don't want to get hurt by it, I understand. Especially in the cold. You know, we've all been there in PE when it's cold and the ball slaps your thigh. Okay, they're having a little bit more of the ball now, I'm noticing. Great save. Oh, what a... <laughs> I don't know what that dive was. There was no shot happening. He panicked. I don't give it. Don't. I, I'm assuming there's no VAR. I'm going to assume we can enjoy football without VAR. Like the olden days. The days of yore. Okay. They're definitely growing into this game. That's a decent ball. Oh, okay. Okay. What's the possession like, boys? Oh, we don't need this. We don't need this screen. <laughs> it's much more important that we get the match stats. We can see the score. We know what's going on. Here we go. Addy, come on. You're a decent player. You're on attacking wing back. I want to see some football from you. Okay, here we go. Matala. Out on the right-hand side if needed. I actually don't know. He's terrible. Go to the left-hand side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good idea. That's oh, a good tackle for McCough. Tickenden. Oh, come on, lads. The black and golds are coming forward again. <sighs> oh! That's, that's the young centre-back. Oh, the angle! The angle! It is a Batista bomb! Ninth, ninth goal of the season. Oh, if only. Okay. Mm. Right, then. What's our possession like? It's not too bad. Okay, let's go. Let's go positive. Oh, so optimistic. First ten minutes, but this is a proper highlight. We've got a minute and a half. If we can get one back before the. Okay, my there's gaps. I feel like there's. <laughs> I feel like the centre back partnership hasn't quite gelled yet. It's almost like they're not there. They play the ball forward, and I don't seem to have any centre backs, which is ironic because I don't have any centre backs in the club. But, you know, there's two on the field right now. We should be all right. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Baba Mensa has been impressive at breaking into the final third. He's a centre-back. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. <laughs> Mate. All right, you know Rio Ferdinand. Oh, no. Our bench is just shit on a stick as well. It's like... There's just nobody there that's good. Or that mostly plays. We've got two number 10s that are full out number 10s that we don't use. Okay. Slightly lack of defensive options. Almond's playing a 6.2. Addy. Addy should be good. Okay, go again. I can see why this team has got themselves into trouble. Because apparently in real life, they're not a bad team. I don't know what they're doing with their 
They've only got one centre back. Yes. 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 Matala. Oh my Jesus. Don't applaud it. Mate. <laughs> Mate. <sighs> okay, but it's a shot. We had an attacking effort. Okay, Cadio out to right hand side to Herm. That's oh, a great ball. It's a great ball. Oh, what a save. That's more like it, goalkeeper. I can't remember your name. Steve. What's his name? Oh, it's the Highlander. Of course. <laughs> Ironically, our right back's called Kazi, and he's shit. Not everyone would get that joke. Right. Impact subs. Can we quickly buy some? Okay, let's give the other guy a go. Target? Are you a target, man? You got 12 head in. 15 jumping reach. All right, I'm not a massive fan of lone target men, but I'm, at this point, it just needs to be different. We've got uh, Yusuf Ali, who's the decent youngster, but has no technical ability apart from dribbling, but really pacey, so could cause trouble with that. We've got Haman, who's supposedly a striker. I'm going to go with Ali. He's coming on for the knockout blow. <laughs> Come on, lads. I just want a goal now. I just what I just want to see something. What the fuck is... Oh, that's my mouse point. There's a giant football on the pitch. It's Liverpool Sunderland all over again. Panicked then. There's a massive football. Okay, this high line is, I, I think is. I, I don't think we're good enough to play offside trap. That's my bad. I should have thought about that more. I feel, I feel like I could definitely have thought about the, their ability, especially before signing any centre backs. I think for maybe for the first game before we make signings, we. Oh, here we go though. Go on, Toros. Oh, that's decent. It's closer. It's closer. I'll take that. It didn't look horrendous, did it? <laughs> if that's that's the line. Oh dear God, that's the line of skill. It didn't look horrendous. B plus. All right, three minutes left. Okay, there's seven half chances. Okay, okay. The heart, the, the offside trap is a horrendous idea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Okay, I'll, I'll take this one. It wasn't excellent. It's not. It's not. I can't really have a go at them, just it was my fault, right? Good effort, lads. Oh, this is oh, I feel like we might be sacked. I'm just mm, I sense it. It's because we're gonna get given less time because we are so underqualified. We, well, we have no qualifications for this job. But we're not gonna get given time, I don't feel like the players already hate me. Okay, right. I'm going to go on for the next four days. And basically, at this point, we need to sign a miracle. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> right. We've made some transfers. Uh, we made three transfers. One of them's good. Two of them are humans um but before we do that before i show you these oh, this majestic beasts that we brought into the club i just want to say thank you to a brand new bunch of patreons it's been a few weeks since i last did an update so i'm going to whiz through this with my perfect pronunciation morton evanson thank you very much sir garishness aiden wren Sindra Markerson has upped his pledge. Jamie zombie millhouse has upped his pledge farian esler has upped his pledge matko guck I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce that surname. Uh, Leos, uh, Evanga Von Salador, Sam S, Christopher McComas, Ben Entwistle, Craig Goodfellow has upped his pledge. Noddle, G Jan Sieri has upped his pledge. Joachim Grendel, MJ Keeble, Teresos, Adam Passmore, and Henrik. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. As I always, whenever I do these updates, I always let you guys know what if my Patreon's gone up or down because I know you were interested in this shit. So. Bad news, it's down this month. It's down. We're down $110. You may recall I made a video called, you know, talking about business a couple of weeks ago. Go check it out if you want. But 
about not relying on one source of income and stuff. And one of the big guys that's that's been incredibly generous has dropped out, which is great. It's fine, not saying anything, but obviously that dents it. Um, and he was donating. I won't say his name because I'm not sure if he wants people to know, but he was donating $200 a month. So he dropped out. But despite the fact, we only were down 110 thanks to the generosity of others. So thank you so much. If you want to check out my Patreon and help support what I do here and buy my first house and stuff, then please go check out the link in the description. Even just a dollar really helps because, you know, I'm living with my ex-girlfriend and my ex-girlfriend's ex-husband. Yeah, that that's actually a thing. So... You know, I'd like to move out. Um, <laughs> right, are you ready? You're sitting down, boys. Are you sitting down? To be fair, one of them's really shit, but he's got a great name and that's worth it, right? Um, I did try and sign Oli Gunnar Solskjaer's child, who's Ginge. But don't hold that against him. Um, but they wanted all his wages and I couldn't afford 240 quid a week because I might have accidentally gone over the wage budget by a small amount. Um, <clears throat> right, so the first one we've got in is Emil Damgaard on loan, our new right back, and actually he's pretty solid. He can fill in at centre back, which is good. We need versatility in this squad. Um, he's pretty damn good. I'm pr a good all rounder, five star potential, Danish young player. So I'm like, okay, cool. That was the first one I did. I was like, I'm on a roll here, boys. We only had a few days, so it was a bit like panic buying. Um, Next up, we have Philip Spardal Mantilla, who's a bit... He's a little bit murdery looking, but don't hold that against him. He's He likes a 10. I'm gonna, He's going to be our new first choice centre-back. Is he? He is. He is. No, he is. But he can play it right back. Actually, not too bad. Um, at DM, at central midfield, because he's just like bang average at everything. So actually, he's not a bad little player. But uh, yeah... And finally, Felix de Bona, welcome to the club, the 26-year-old Brazilian. He's not, like, much better than what we've got, that youngster and stuff, but I needed another option in case that youngster doesn't find his feet with that terrible composure. He's good physically, he's got a bit of flair about him, got a bit of skill about him, which is good. There's a couple of areas that he could work on. He looks a bit smug. I'm sure, like, he came through some big teams. Yeah, look at that. Oh, he's always been in Finland, that Brazilian dude. Okay. Yeah, look. Banging in goals. So, yeah. Um, Wages-wise, gone over a little bit. But to be honest, this, this saves about me, right? And if they help me keep my job, admittedly, we might bankrupt the club. But if they help keep me keep my job and increase my reputation, then before they go bankrupt, we just jump shit. Yeah. yeah. So my cashly approach. So let me know what you think of those superstars and we will be back next episode because we're playing. We Obviously, we need to see all the rest of the games anyway. We're playing the team that turned us down, the team that took the piss, that invited us for a job to interview, laughed in our fa faces. Then the fans came up and also laughed in our faces. Then they hired that dude, right? So I hate them and I will destroy them, not with a high back line and offside trap. Um, but it's, can I, we've strengthened, I'd argue we've strengthened, not dramatically, but we have a little bit of depth and maybe actually a substitute that's half decent now. Right, there we go, my friends. Thank you to all the new Patreons. Thank you for everyone watching. We've just hit 50,000 subscribers, like smashed it. We were, I was just about to hit 50,000 subscribers and then yesterday we got 300 subscribers in one day. So thank you all so much. That was, you know, it really helps all the likes and sharing it and stuff like that and commenting because that's what makes the video appear in search rankings and all that boring bollocks that YouTube likes to do. So thank you very much. Back tomorrow for some hot Turku action. Bye-bye.